Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your roles and permissions in your Wix website dashboard. What's up you guys, thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino and I got a tutorial today for you guys on how you can manage your roles and permissions in Wix dashboard of your website, okay? And this is a game changer because they have customizable roles and permissions for the website uh, so that you can give many site contributors the access that they need in order to perform or even utilize your site. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so coming over to settings, okay? You click settings, then you'll come over, all the way scroll down uh, to roles and permissions. Once you click roles and permissions, wait for it to load. It'll take a few minutes or so, and bam, there it is. All right, so now what you wanna do here is easily go over to manage roles, okay? You can also invite people to get ownership or even get new roles okay now as you can see this is the whole setup this is where you can show all of the uh, people that are pending or expired uh, these are the different types of roles that you would have on your website which you only have one owner and then uh, then you can actually create a role or even manage roles okay and that's why I'm gonna show you guys today this new awesome feature all right, so you go ahead to manage roles and boom, you have your general roles, your store roles, your blog roles, your payment roles, your video roles. All of those roles will show up here if you have those activated onto your website, okay? And so what I wanna show you is this new feature here that says create new role, all right? With admin, you get full access, okay? You guys can actually view this also and actually give people this role if you would like to uh, you have website manager and then these gives you descriptions here now you can actually view these roles and actually look at the roles itself see what type of permissions that this uh role title would have and then also what you can do here is go inside of here on each of them to see what do they have access to okay now these are really a game changer because really a lot of people were stressing about security and, and how can others see certain things that, you know, they don't want normally uh, a website manager to see like sort of uh, marketing um, well, or payment and finances, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, maybe they just want to see that or maybe some people just don't want to give that access to them. Uh, then that is easy. You can come in here and do that. But the way that this is all set up here is actually to better understand how contributors will have access to certain things. And then also how you want to utilize those people having that sort of access to your website. Okay. Now you can't change anything in here except for the description I can see here. Uh, mainly all of these uh, here are checked off some of them are not like view payments and configure payment settings uh, but what you can do here is you can go back up to here um, also I forgot to show you that you could actually duplicate and edit okay you can duplicate this same type of uh, admin privilege or status duplicate it and edit it which I'm not gonna do right now I'm gonna start from scratch but basically you can duplicate and edit the thing and it will work out in your best favor okay just because you have the basis of you know what an admin is or what a website manager is back office manager or store roles uh and all that other sort of stuff okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna create a limited owner uh role and what i like about limited owner role is that uh they don't really have ownership of the website itself but if you want to have someone say do everything on the website just as you were uh you had a partner or you had you know uh, a client or someone like that sort that needs access to you know their contacts 
uh, needs access to the payments uh, section and all of that and above, you can actually give them that role. So I'm just going ahead and say limited owner. Okay. And description of uh, ownership to the fullest of permissions. Okay. So basically that's just saying that, you know, they have all the permissions really. So what we're going to do here is actually give them those sorts of permissions. So we're going to go into editor and we're going to select all. Okay. This means that that person can publish this site. That means on your own time, if you needed someone else to make some edits or changes and then also publish the site, you could give them access to do so just like this. Okay. Uh, this one is actually highlighted out because it is automatically saying that you have a permission to publish the site. So that means you have permission to do everything, uh, essentially, if you choose publish site. Now let's go to site members. This is actually how to manage, uh, you know, approve or block site members. I'm just going to say select all that actually shows you that it adds on some other, uh, other roles down here, other permissions uh, for different other categories. As you can see, if I just take that off though, you see how those automatically go away. So something with managing site members, you have access to one uh, or multiple things inside of other categories. Okay. And we're going to see that in a few seconds. All right. So we have blog here. And actually, I'm just going to say select all because I mean, like I said before, this is a person who's going to have limited ownership. That means all of what the owner has, except for ownership of the site and other sort of uh, little permissions here and there that they might have or have access to. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead down here to customer management. As you can see, it says manage contacts. That is the same thing as man uh, site managing the site members, okay? Because those contacts that get placed in there, you have to manage those contacts in order to even uh, block, approve, or even delete certain members, certain site members, okay? On your website, not on your contributor list. All right, so let's see. I'm going to give them all, okay? I'm going to select all. And that means that they're going to have all of these awesome tools here to give permissions to whomever. And I think the real biggest one that was getting to me was the exporting of contacts. Okay. That is a really big game changer right there because, you know, if you were to say, you know, didn't have access one day and someone else had access to those contacts, you know, they, they wanted to have that contact on file, ready to go, uh, whenever they sign in, this is an opportunity that you guys could actually give that exporting contacts to whomever that may be so that they can actually access those things and get all of the site members information, uh, at a click of a button, really, really. I enjoy this. Uh, this is really great. So yeah, I'm going to head and collapse that marketing tools. All right. So we want to select all this is basically, uh, everything that deals with the marketing tab. Okay. And I'll get more into depth with that in future tutorials about the marketing tools. All right. Uh, here's your analytics. Um, and then also your payments and finances. This is how you can manage the account settings. Uh, and then also look at the payments and other information that's finance. Uh, so all the finance side of things and everything like that, selecting payment providers, all of that good stuff. Okay. Then, uh, Corbett. Okay. This is code. This is Wix code, uh, and actually having access to those production tools, uh, I don't know if a limited owner would want that, but say for instance, that limited owner has some coding background, they would actually need this permission, uh, when they go into their Wix editor. So I will enable those, uh, to show and view dashboard pages 
And I'll actually get into that in future tutorials about dashboard pages. That is very helpful when you have databases that you want to uh, have your um, have your site contributors go to actually and look at their data uh, that they have in their database. Okay, so I'll go into a little bit of that in uh, future tutorials, and then also the app market. That is a really big one. Okay. That is where I talked in my previous blog tutorial um, of how to install a blog, a Wix blog. That wouldn't be possible if they didn't have this access, okay? You really need to hone in on who has access to installing those apps, just like I just said right there about the Wix blog and everything like that. So I'm gonna give them that. And then also I'm just going to click save and that is my limited owner. All right, so now that you can see, there's custom roles here that have just been made. All right, nobody's assigned to it yet, but I can actually easily assign somebody to that role by clicking invite people. Okay, if I wanna duplicate and edit, I can do the same thing here, or if I wanna delete it, I can delete it right here, okay? Now I wanna invite some people. I'm just gonna show you the step process, okay? I'm not actually gonna invite anybody, all right? So what it here is, is that they, give you the option to put down many uh, email addresses as possible by just using a comma, okay? And then also giving the people those different types of roles, okay? Like I said, with limited owner, this is actually all of admin and some, okay? And more, okay? If we go back and view the role permissions, there are some permissions in the admin that they don't have access to, okay? but the limited owner does. So I just gave it more of an enhanced, like overreaching all of admin privileges and more. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it there because I don't need to go into any of these uh, individual ones here, where it's the blog editor or blog writer or payments manager, stuff like that, okay? So after I put in that person's uh, name at example.com it'll see show you that you can add this person there okay once you click here to add it'll automatically put it in there and then all you have to do is send an invite and then it'll send that invite to those particular emails that you have here and then voila you just wait for them to accept it or to uh decline it or just you know not even um, accept it in that, that means that it would go into the expired, uh, tab. And then those people will not be able to have access to that role anymore after it expired beyond that date. And then what I want to show you guys is if you do send the invite, which I'm not going to, uh, probably going to go ahead and put in some email that I can send and then you can just see what it will go through. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put in this email address. Okay. So I'm going ahead and put this email address in. All right. So I got this email address and I'm going to send invite. All right. So I'm gonna send the invite and then boom, you see how it says it right here, it's pending, okay? This invite is good on August 25th, 2020. That is the days of the generated date that has been sent out, okay? Now, if this goes on for, I think about two to three weeks uh, down the line, that is still pending, I think they will then turn it into expired uh, because that uh, will be expired and then you would have to resend the invite, okay, right here, or get the invite link and then send that person that invite link, okay? And then also it gives you an option to change the role or even to remove that person, okay? And just like I was telling you, the expired comes right here and is after about two to four weeks of it being pending. Okay, now 
I don't know exactly what the date is, uh, but you guys can go to support.wix.com and actually find that information there. Okay, so that is all about it. You, can, you guys can remove this person from the site and then automatically it doesn't give them access anymore. Um, then let's see. Then, I mean, it's up to you guys. Uh, however you guys want to make your roles and permissions, make them as secure as possible and as thoroughly uh, explainable and identifiable as possible. Okay, guys, so have fun with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely give it a shot. I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial. And if you have any questions, drop it below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, ciao.